further away from my prediction today at 28 degrees. It's going to get there. It really, really is. And it's going to get hot. Absolutely muggy today. We're making up for a few days in the past, really. It is Thursday, 5th of October. Nice to have everybody along. Tell you what, let me do this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here with Galaxy 107 FM and today, believe me, just absolutely elated because we're catching up with a very, very good friend of ours, family member at Galaxy. Yes, she's a noise. She is, believe me. Uh, we're going to Burlington, Ontario, Canada and we're going to be catching up with Haley Beryl. Uh, but first of all, I've got to welcome along everybody that's tuned in this morning on Facebook Live. Nice to have you on board. It really, really is if you're a first time viewer, why not do this? Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like Hayley Beryl, who's joining us this morning, and I know she's coming back very, very shortly with a new release as well. Uh, sub, why not subscribe? Become part of the family. We call it the noise here at Galaxy. Uh, simply because you have a voice and we do hear you. We really do. Yeah, your phone calls, your, your texts, your emails, everything, it's all collated. And believe me, that's how we structure a lot of Galaxy and a lot of Galaxy shows. So believe me, keep that up. I want to keep my receptionist working too, by the way. So uh, keep that one going. Uh, thumb, you know what to do with that. Yep, get epileptic. Go on, double dare you on the thummy thing. All the heart, give us a like, give us a love. You know what to do, right? Well, I tell you what, I know what to do. Let's start it off. Here is Haley Beryl and side of Small Town. So you wouldn't be making fun of my headphones now, would you? <laughs> oh, heck no. Now that I know the story, I think it's really inspiring. Well, um, honestly, I was a pitiful little gopher that worked for a radio station on the west coast of the South Island. Still had pimples on my face, literally. And um, the DJ that was supposed to be working, he had appendicitis that night, literally in the office. And I was the only other person there. Oh, called, wow. Called an ambulance. They took him away. That left me the only person there. And thinking now, OK, I can do one of two things. I can walk out. And just let everything stop. Yeah, not a good idea. It's a radio station. Or I could sit down and try and do what he was doing. I gave it my best shot. Uh, the boss heard this. Came in. He wasn't very impressed. But he had a man and a woman with him. Who was his sister. The boss's sister. And her brain speaking new husband. They went to Greymouth. Would you believe for a honeymoon. Nobody goes there for a honeymoon. Nobody. <laughs> it, it's like, no. You've got to be joking. They did. Um, and he said to me at the... Because he started giving me pointers, right? Yeah. And he says to me at the end of it, do you want to go back to school? And I went, why? He goes, I will pay for it if you get your grades. If not, you pay for it. But let's send you to university. Did that. And uh, when I got my grades and dismissed from university, that was the first place I went to, was his radio station in Auckland. That's awesome. I spent uh, eight years there. Oh, wow. <coughs> anyway, Haley, let's do this. Do the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs>
right, you're right, here we go, it's E107 FM, and today I'm so elated to catch up with my very good friend, Hayley Beryl, and believe me, Hayley, you're watching yourself, what are you, a voyeur? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to look at yourself, believe me. I've never been asked that before. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Marion Pedersen is watching as well, nice to have you on board, Marion. Uh, Troy Q. Tipton, bad boy. Nice to have you back, brother man. Looking forward to doing an interview with you this time. Uh, hopefully no kicko problems or any of the above, including Barbara being good of health. <laughs> Last time was, uh, was tragic. Uh, Jennifer Miller Alvarado is watching as well. Nice to have you back, Jennifer. It really, really is. Hayley Vera is in there as well. You've got to watch out for that lady. I know. I'm talking to her right now. Uh, Peter Hoffman is in there. Anthony Liguori Jr., Hello, brother. Nice to have you back. I want to talk to you about hats. I do. Uh, Kim Beryl is watching. Um, any relation, Haley? Yes, that's my mother. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be on my good behaviour. Okay, CC Critter and go. No, you don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. Really, I do. Uh, Gail Hammond is watching as well. And Gail, so looking forward to meeting up with you and Dale in Trevancham, India in November. Literally, I'll tell everybody more about that as we go. But Haley, so very, very good to have you back again, my friend. Uh, where have you been? I've been pretty good. I've been trying to stay as busy as I can be. How about yourselves? How have you guys been? I know we talked about the whole big renovations you guys have been doing and the upgrades. Yeah, well, it's, you know, techo stuff. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the uh, IT guys uh, here... I think they just like my money. Oh, yeah? Yeah, believe me, every other day there's something new that needs to be done. Mm. And that usually comes at a cost, you know what I mean? Sounds <laughs> familiar. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, Joan Mucha Ten Hoven. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Joan, nice to have you back. It really, really is. Getting my tongue tied this morning. It really, yeah, believe me, it's been one of those mornings. Uh, now, we started off the show, Hayley, with side of small town. Which side are you on? I hopefully I'm on the good side. <laughs> I was waiting for a north, east, south, west kind of deal. Oh, but... <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so South Ontario. <laughs> I get it. I understand. Southern Ontario. Yeah, no, believe me, I don't think you would be on the bad side. I never... The bad side, okay. You... What's the bad side? Well, I don't know, but I, I, I do have a question, if, <laughs> literally, Haley, honestly, uh, and the women around here, they've been, you're talking to Haley today, aren't you? And I'm going, yes, yes, I'm talking to Haley today. <laughs> okay, I've got a question for you. I can't ask you that. Really? Really? Well, apparently I can't. Haley, you've been going out with your same man for a number of years now. When are you getting married? I have no idea. You'll have to ask him. I'll get him to watch this and uh, get him to answer you. Yeah, believe me. <laughs> all the women are wondering, you know, believe me. And that, me personally, if you do, and uh, if your good man does get down on one knee with a bit of diamond and gold involved, I'm looking for an invitation, okay? <laughs> yes. Very cool. And believe me, I'd be very, very honoured to come over and, um, you know... Uh, Get involved with the party afterwards, you know. <laughs> Mischief is my na middle name, literally, so uh, believe me, yeah, it <laughs> okay. really is. Uh, honestly, Haley, if you and your good man come to New Zealand and meet up with me for a honeymoon, all I can say is, um, bail money. <laughs> Bring bail money. All right. Yeah. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, do that, <laughs> believe me, because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it can be a lot of fun, it really can. Uh, now, at the same time, tell me the inspiration behind uh, Side of Small Town. So, when I originally wrote Side of Small Town, I wanted to write an anthem. An anthem based on love and that Side of Small Town kind of feeling, where you have that support and that loyalty and that, and that relationship, right? And I also, at the same time, it was the Grey Cup, which is a huge CFL in Canada, which is football, uh, American football, and it was really cool at that same time how it kind of worked together. So I kind of made that song not only for the small town 
loyalty relationships, but also having that having that sense of team and that support from the CFL and our Hamilton Tie Cats. You know, I, I get that. I really, really do. Uh, believe me, I haven't been to Ontario as many times as I should, to be very honest with you. Uh, but I was in Ottawa once, uh, and believe me, uh, somebody took me along to a gridiron. They called it, you know, football. We we call football here a whole different deal. <clears throat> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ours is rugby union, if you know what I mean. And you can't throw forward, and you can't, you, you just got to pass backwards and just keep on going forwards. Anything in the way where you just got to make sure it's not in the way by the time you take the next step. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's sort of along the same lines as gridiron, but uh, there is a few differences. Uh, we don't wear pads or helmets. We're not scared to get knocked out or knock out people. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, we have the All Blacks. Just ask the Wallabies. Yeah, Wallabies. I was going to say the Wannabies then, but I can't. I'm not allowed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but believe me, uh, in the World Cup, have a look. You know, it's happening. It really is. Now, Clyde Hill's joining us as well. Nice to have you back again, Clyde. It really is. Now, I've got to move on because I know Haley is pressed for time. So, well, you know, it's love. Uh, well, I guess it's love anyway. So, Haley, believe me, right now I'm not getting too far through a week in the breakfast show without <laughs> at least playing this a couple of times. So I want to know what's the secret behind the success of I guess it's uh, I guess that's love. So that song was really inspired by not only my relationship that I've had for almost six years now, but all over social media and knowing that people are going to go through the rough, the thick and thin. And it's always great to have someone there that's going with it through you, right? That's going through it with you and having that support system. And either that could be a friend, that could be a parent. But in this case, it was a loved one like like my boyfriend, right? So that's kind of how I wanted to push it and being able to go through it together with somebody. That's kind of what inspired the song. You know, I understand that. Believe me, uh, I used to look at my parents back in the day and think, you know, these guys are just impalable they're in, totally in tune with each other they're so alo in love and then my mum says no i hate my damn husband i went mean, why is that she goes well you know you know you, you kind of grow out of love from time to time and but the thing is who else would i get to beat up when i when you're not around so i thought yeah no fair deal <laughs> fair deal i get it <laughs> i never knew my dad was so scared of my mum uh, but believe me, I went to work with my mum once. Uh, she's she was literally a head chef, right? Wow! Yeah, I like that. Twenty-five staff members, and my, oh my God, goodness. I have never seen my mother in the same light ever again. Wow! She was vicious and took no prisoners. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. This, this is the lady that you've grown up with through the years and you think she's absolutely an angel until you go to work and then find out she's all hell incarnate, <laughs> all wrapped <laughs> up, and she's imitating my mother's looks. Literally, this is the devil wrapped up in my mother. It scared the hell out of me. On the way home, just didn't say a word to her, eh? Too scared. <laughs> but you know something, Haley? I guess that's love. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Clyde says, "What are you talking about, Grant Junior?" And then he went joking. <laughs> oh, me talking? <Yeah>. Clyde. <laughs> here, right here, right here. He never stops, everyone. He never stops. Hey, hey. hey Haley, I was. On a Sunday, I go around to a mate's place who has a man cave, right? <clears throat> yeah. We play pool, play darts, have a few beers, shoot the shit, basically, solve the world's problems. And uh, he says to me the, uh, last weekend, he goes, Mum and Dad usually go out to the garden and have breakfast when I take them a coffee and stuff. He says, Mum asked Dad while I was taking out the coffee, if I die, will you get married again? He says, the old man had a fit, and this kind of went on for about a week, because my bed's next to their bed, a thin wall in between them. I can hear what's going on. And the old man, finally, after seven days, says, all right, I give up. 
yes, I'd get married again. And the old lady says, would you sell the house? And he goes, no, I'm not going to sell the house. Goes, would you sell the car? No, I'm going to sell it. Would you sell my golf clubs? He goes, listen, lady, she's left-handed. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. I have no idea. Yeah, yes. <laughs> means he's already got a girlfriend, a replacement. Oh. <laughs> but that got me thinking, right? So I came home and I said to the wife, you know, if I pass away, will you get married again? <laughs> she looked at me and goes, no, I'm going to my sister's. I went, fair enough, okay. So she turned around and says, well, if I pass away, would you get married again? I went, no, I'm going to your sister's. <laughs> I get that one. <laughs> I got that one. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I tell you what, you'll watch this one back and you'll get it later. Maybe, yes. <laughs> I'm a little slow with the jokes. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I understand. That means I have to talk slower. <laughs> Right, you're right here with Galaxy 107 FM, and today we're talking to very, very good friend of ours, Haley Beryl. Now, Haley, uh, believe me, absolutely love, love, loving. I guess that's love, and you're making a huge sensation around the world with this. But I know that there's a new one coming out, and I'm just going to ask you very politely: Will you put yourself through more torture of me again in the very near future? That's a very loaded question, but I would. <laughs> yeah, believe me, you're in, in, in Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I would be very, very honoured to have you back and, of course, oh, talk you. about that new one and possible new ones through the year coming, uh, which I've got to say, uh, by the way, have you got any Christmas music? I don't, unfortunately. I do have a song that's about Christmas, but I haven't recorded it yet. Uh, but I'm, I'm possibly thinking about it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, uh, you see, we're starting to think Christmas time right now because it's only just around the corner now, it's not too far away. Uh, so uh, if you are going to submit one, please, please uh, get it in there because we'd be honoured to play it. We actually do play four days of Christmas music continuously, non-stop. It is like brainwashing. It really, really is. <laughs> But there's some, you know, hell of a good music in there. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I love Christmas music. Yeah, so, I don't start listening to it until the middle of uh, middle of November. Yeah, that's well, when I start cranking it up. <clears throat> that's usually when most people do start to listen to it. But unfortunately, with radio stations, we start listening to it as it's being submitted <laughs> because people are saying, "Hey, listen, you know, Christmas is coming. Better get that in there." So we're starting to now put this whole show together, including, uh, I think we're going to be doing interviews with uh, Galaxy Artists as well, through uh, a, a marathon deal, through a Christmas show as well. So, uh, yeah, you never know. If you've got one in there, uh, Barbara might give you the tap on the shoulder and say, do you want to come back and abuse Grant? <laughs> like you should. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bo Gregory's joining us as well. Nice to have you back, Bo. It really, really is. Uh, but I know that you do have to get rattling and, and get off to another show. Tell me about this show. So it's going to be a songwriter showcase. Uh, if you're from the Ontario, Canada area, you're probably not, but that's okay. I'll be in Hamilton uh, singing and sharing stories about some originals that you've never heard before and that aren't recorded and just sharing my inspiration behind them and getting some feedback and seeing if I should in fact record them and release them. Fair enough. Well, I tell you what, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. Uh, of course, you do know that we're going to do a couple of pickies and stuff like that before you go. Yes. So we'll wrap this up right now. Uh, thank you for joining us this week. Unfortunately, we don't have another interview 
uh, due to a huge amount of meetings that we have to partake in today. So uh, join me back here tomorrow morning with Barbara, would you believe, 5.30 in the morning through until 10 o'clock on The Breakfast Show. And I think it'll be Monday, is it? You're going to be back? Yeah, we'll be doing a couple more interviews on Monday. Not sure what they are because Barbara hasn't told me what I'm doing yet. I never know what I'm doing anyway, so you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Not unless it's written down and handed to me. So, in the meantime, uh, if we don't see you between now and then, have a very happy and successful weekend, and I will catch you again on Monday morning as well. Catch you there. Happy radio, everyone. Yeah.